Well, it's important to understand that uh, what we have showcased here are two different lines of effort from a wargaming standpoint. One is education focused. The other line of effort is a force development, and that is focused on examining the future potential battles that the Marine Corps may be called upon to fight. And organizationally, we have two different organizations that do those. So I'm the Wargaming Director for Marine Corps University, which is focused on the education side. And then the other organization here that's represented is the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab. And, and they are obviously focused on the future. We've got the computer games behind me. Those reside within a wargaming cloud capability that we have stood up very recently. It's just this last fall, so it's less than a year old. We've run some wargame tournaments where we've had allied military education schools plugged in. Australia, Canada, UK all participated in tournaments that we were hosting in our cloud, but they're doing it from the other side of the world. The other capability you see is what's on the tables. And, and these are games that really stimulate dialogue between people, right? Because over a map with the counters on the map, they can get a sense of the situation and get a better understanding of how to make a decision. So a lot of these games were actually sparked by some of the questions associated with uh, the force design. Most of our war games that we're showcasing here do have scenarios that center on a lot of the problems in the Pacific and, and how we might, in a national security crisis, end up dealing with some of those problems. Uh, and that was really the intent behind this event, is that this is showcasing the war game capabilities that are being used for military education and for force development. And, you know, if you want to give them a test drive, uh, that's what we're here for.